Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, beer review. So, fan's just been updated, so uh, yeah, it's not quite at the right angle. My gosh, uh, grey hair needs sorting out. So, anyway, um, going over to Matlock to Bentley Brook Brewing Company, there we go, front of the can, uh, based in the hills around Matlock. I don't know the actual name of the place, I know it's Matlock, but. And this is called Wappers. Wappers. Um, it's a Belgian Dubel, 6.3%. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything on the can. So, let's dive straight in. It's Friday evening. And me, the dog, and the youngest have all been on the settee for an hour just chilling. <laughs> Laying there, falling asleep. Um... Is what it is on that side of things. Been out, uh, done, done a day's work, as you know me do. Gardening to do tomorrow, as usual. Although I'm trying to get away from the weekends of gardening, trying to, you know, do it all in the week and win in the week. Not always doable, but I try my best, nonetheless. I try my best, nonetheless. There's a rhyme there somewhere. So there we go, that's the pour. Belgian Dubel, white head, 6.3%. Um, first third of this brewery, I can say, uh, over at the um, Byron's Rest in Hucknall. Had a Bentley book on the bar. On the Friday, went back on the Sunday. Two Bentley books on the bar, and I thought, you know, what's the man to do? Strong multi aroma on this. Can't tell you what I'm, what flavours I'm picking out, but. Twang to it, I'll give you that. Um, oh, I think uh, the week's just got to me, and uh, it's been a long. I mean, I flipping out. I was at once even at work Monday, and I've been at work four days, but I feel sad mentally and um, physically. Twangy uh, beer. Not sure what I'm supposed to be um, getting. I mean, I've had Dubells before, and you know, some are candied, um, some bananary, being a Dubell, being a Belgian beer. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, like I said, what I'm supposed to be getting. Um, I mean, it's a nice. Beer, 6.3 percent is going down, but I know that. Mm, like I say, nice twang to it. Very nice twang. So I hope everyone out there in beer review world is going to have a great weekend. Um, I picked up. Six new beer kits, all the same, and um, I'll get into that when I go up the house and uh, uh, unpack them, make sure they're all okay. To be fair, I haven't even done that, been there two days now. Um, over the weekend, I'm hoping to do some brewing, get the old brewing uh, adventure started again, as you do. Um, And go from there, really. Yeah. Um, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, pack 
makes a nice wallop on that. What's the, what's the, whapper, whappers, 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 I don't know. It's different, uh, 6.3%, lovely artwork on the can, inspired by monks, obviously it's uh, these guys and their, um, I presume their take on the Belgian Dubel, the Dubel, double, or whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, brew itself, cracking little tap room where it is. Proper countryside brewery, you know, in the hills of the Peak District around Derbyshire. Um, easy enough to get to walking, but better off in a car if you can. Uh, depends if you live if you're around that area. If you're doing the walking around that area, then nipping in for a few pints, uh, yeah, helps with the walking. Well, maybe going downhill at least. Don't know about uphill. Uphill walking when you've had a few beers. Yeah, never the easiest. Oh. Oh. Ah. So, God be honest, looking forward to the weekend. Nothing crazy this weekend. We had a busy weekend last week. Three days of some sort of boozing. Oh, that one, one of the days was literally out for two halves uh, which isn't really a lot of booze in the grand scheme of things but you know from a monetary, money, monetary perspective okay, it's bloody expensive if you keep going out um, you know I mean it's great to support pubs and, and that but it's not the cheapest of hobbies at times um, I'm trying to look at what breweries have got stuff on around us and um, some breweries, you know, some pubs rather, just a boring range of beers. And it's like, you know, you've got to get the punters to come to your brewery, you know, your pub. And your range of beers, boring. And um, I've got some local ones where me, where, where they've got that 20 casks lines on the bar. And eight are replicated for each side the same and the other 12 uh, six from uh leicestershire based brewery that uh yeah in the greatest um and uh, you know you look and you think well i've had them i've had i've had the eight the eight the four either side i've had them many times so i don't want them that particular brewery, I don't want any of theirs. And sometimes they're replicated on both sides. And then that that means that the actual guest beers are literally probably two or three guest beers at the most. And uh, yeah, it uh, it makes you not want to bother, uh, you know, going to said pub. And then if that pub is bad, and you look at the other pubs in the same area. And it's like, not even worth going drinking there. So, you know, um, sometimes you need that magnet to go visiting an area or a pub or a tap room or whatever. And, uh, yeah, if, if the range is rubbish, um, then, oh, bugger. Just pulled a scab off and it's bleeding. Um, yeah, then it can drag the area down. If that wasn't a tangent, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good with random tangents. So, very different this one. Um, Don't get me wrong, it's tasting okay. Um, like I said, I'm not quite... Yeah. Uh, not quite sure what flavours I'm supposed to be getting. 
albeit it just tastes nice. Yeah. Um, would I drink it again? Probably not. Probably not for me, this one. You know, in the grand scheme of things, uh, I'm not really a big Belgian uh, beer fan at the best of times. Um, if I'm going to give it a score, I'll give it a 4.1. But uh, I'm not really giving scores these days. But uh, just for the purists out there who think you should give a score. And, uh, so, yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching.